Hi everyone, I'm Kate McCauley from Pattern Emporium. Welcome to another episode of What's in the Pattern. In these videos, I sew up a whole bunch of garments to show you what's in our latest pattern. And this week we are talking about a sweet cheek sweater. Now, our testers actually requested this one. So we have a massive team to show you in our Facebook group what they've made during testing of this sweater or jumper as we call it in Australia. Now normally when I release a video we have a few days run up until I actually release the pattern but this time we're doing things a little bit differently. The pattern is available for you to buy and sew right now and during the pattern release period you of course get a discount on this pattern. No code needed just pop it in your cart and then click on the cart and you will see the discount in there. Now the hero of this pattern, there are two. This fabulous v-neck. It is a wide v-neck with a seam up the centre front. And there's also two round necks and a funnel neck. And then we have this, can you see that? We have this split or step hem. So it's high at the front and lower at the back. And it, so it has this great little step and then it has a split. There are four different lengths. There are the ultra crops, the crops, the hip length and the long. The fit is easy. It is a roomy fit. Now I've made garments in two sizes, my measured size and a size down so that you can see just how easy it is if you wanted to go a little bit smaller. And then we have a gorgeously roomy sleeve that is not only trend right now, but it's perfect for layering over long sleeve t-shirts or another jumper if you're really cold. You can also layer your cuppa cardi over the top of this. There is the nice roomy cuff and the fit around the band is lovely and loose. Now you can sew these in sweater knit, hachi, waffle knit, um, rib knit, you can sew them in gorgeously fluffy fabrics, you can sew them in lightweight and heavyweight. All depends on what sort of sweater or jumper that you want. When it comes to the bands and the cuff, I would advise a four-way stretch knit fabric. So the reason for this is that a two-way stretch or a fabric without resilience, without lycra, is going to stretch out of shape so that your neckline will be bigger than you expect it to and bigger than it's designed for. Okay, let's get started with the ultra crop. This is the ultra crop. As you can see, it makes the perfect layering jumper. This is over the heartstrings dress. So if you need to layer something over the top, but you still want to keep that shape. This is a sweater knit from Lush that I bought a few years ago and I've done a really chunky ribbing, can you see that, for my neckline and my cuffs and my band. And the chunky ribbing is from my local store Jono's Fabrics. And this is the high neckline. Do you remember this fabric from the Kapakati? I did the opposite placement of the fabric. What do you think? So there is the awesome step hem and I've done a ribbing high neckline and then the jacquard for the sleeves and the sweater knit for the actual cardi itself. This is the ultra cropped. So as you can see, it is short, so I've popped cami on underneath, um, but these are very, very low slung jeans. They sit like below my hip bone unless I have a belt on. Now, where did I get everything from? The sweater knit is from my local store, Jono's. The ribbing I got from Wattle Hill and they have a whole bunch of colors and stripes. Um, this one is a glitter one or a sparkle. Um, and then the jacquard is from Wattle Hill as well, but it is a few years old, so you might need to find an alternative. And this is the ultra cropped. And this is a short sleeve version. How cute is it? You could wear it as a t-shirt or a vest. And there are two options to finish the sleeve as well. You can either do a banded or a fold up hemline. So super, super easy, but it is perfect 
with your wasted garments, so the free spirit skirt, the heart light skirt, the palazzo pants, anything that comes right up to your natural waist, this will sit right on your waist and accompany it beautifully. I have used a gorgeously soft French terry from Lush and then I've used a cotton lycra from Wattle Hill for this beautiful v-neck. Isn't that gorgeous? And then as I said, this is the ultra cropped. And then this is with the heart light skirt. So you've got it coming all the way up to here. So there is a crossover. And another one that comes up to the waist is the adorable little fit and flare symphony skirt. And last but not least, the palazzo pants. So that waistband is um, the elastic one. So the stretch knit waistband would come up even higher. Really, really cute. How is this for beautifully snugly warm? So this is one of those fluffy um, fake alpacas from Lush. You can see, can you see that? It's so gorgeously soft. Um, and then I've used a ribbing from Wattle Hill for the neck and for the cuffs and a self fabric for the band. Isn't that cute? And this is the cropped version with the high neckline. So if ultra crop's not your thing, crop could be the perfect one because it covers the waistband of my jeans really, really nicely and it's just easy and relaxed. Now this one is actually a size down from my measured size. So you can see it is, does sit a little bit closer than the other ones. Now the only thing I would probably do next time is I would do my size neckline. I find the smaller one just a little bit close for me. Next up in the crops is my favourite. When I bought this fabric, which is from um, Jono's on the Sunshine Coast, I thought this could either be amazing or really awful and phew, it's amazing so it's a um, it's I guess it's like a jacquard knit sort of it's got this awesome plaid look and then I've used just ribbing on the neckline and on my bands I've used a heavyweight really good quality so really good resilience bamboo and made it in my measured size the fabulous little step hem and it's just it's roomy enough because I love things roomy and then if you want to you can just do the tuck so you can have it as a jumper or a t-shirt or a windsheet or, or a sweater or a sweatshirt like whatever you want and then if you wanted to from other patterns you could add say a hood from the unwind you could add the split you know that fabulous split collar from the poncho you could add the turtleneck. So there's a couple of different turtlenecks, the shape one from the Unwind or the one from the Keep It Simple. Uh, you could do the cow neck, which is smaller than the funnel neck, which I will show you in a minute. Um, there are so many things that you can combine with this. And there's another one. I wanted to get one finished for today, but I, I haven't. So I will show you next week or the week after. And it's combining the carefree hemline, so just the hemline, with the rest of this jumper to kind of create that kind of shirt tail, kind of t-shirt. Um, and before you ask, this sleeve doesn't fit on the carefree, it's a different armhole. Next up we have another t-shirt version and this is the banded version. And I've sewn this a size down from my measured size. It is a heavyweight bamboo from Knitwish and a ribbing neckline. The fabric is from, again, Wattle Hill. And it is in the crop length. And you can just see it's, it does sit a lot closer than my measured size. And you can do the tuck if you want to. And it just makes a really easy t-shirt. Like you don't have to add any sleeve you can do the turn back hem if you don't want to do the band and it's just really lovely and easy and relaxed and look at this color and this is the funnel neck so the funnel is quite big let me show you so it is quite quite big now how it sits is really going to depend on your fabric so this sweater knit is really really drapey so it just kind of drapes 
around my neckline. But if you did it in a French terry, which again, I didn't have time to make a French terry one, but the you will see Mel's, um, the neckline will sit up at, around your neck, um, which is great for, you know, if you want that extra warmth. So this whole thing is in the same fabric. Now, the only thing you need to watch out for is if your fabric doesn't have a lot of resilience, so by resilience, again, ability to bounce back. So if the stretch is super soft or it has very low elastane or no elastane at all, then this neckline, let me show you here, is going to stretch. So you need to stabilize that. So you can just use elastin for that. Really, really easy. So just measure around the pattern and then stabilize your neckline just sew it on and then you can add the funnel neckline so i've done again my measured size this is in the cropped with that fabulous i just love this and it's it is so simple to do the thing that i really loved about during testing is my testers are very expressive telling me what they do and don't like and so many expressed that this was the easiest step hem that they'd ever done so yay <laughs> so there it is gorgeous just it's it's just so nice and it's such a beautiful color too um fabric is a sweater knit from um Jono's on the sunshine coast again um, and it's got this fabulous fleck all the way through it and last but not least in the crop necklines is another sweater knit now this one doesn't have as much resilience so it does feel a lot bigger um, and it does feel a lot bigger around the neckline. Now, if you do decide to use a fabric with no resilience for your neckline, just understand that it will be bigger. It will stretch out of shape. So you just need to take that into account just with your expectations. We do recommend you use a four-way stretch knit fabrics for those things that are, I kind of call them the supporting act. So your neck band, your cuffs, and your hem band. Use a four-way stretch knit fabrics where you can. And this is a sweater knit, as I said, and it is from Lush. This little number is a French terry from Lush. I have done the mid neckline in a ribbing, so you can see it does sit out a little bit wider, and the cuffs as well. And I've reduced um, the width of these cuffs by about one and a half centimetres. And then I've done the hemband in a self fabric, fabulous split. And this is the hip length. So you can see it does sit a little bit longer. If you want to add length or take length off, just do it just straight off the bottom. And it's, it's just got this gorgeous lightness to it. Next up in the hip length is a sweater knit from Russell's in Brisbane. Um, I've done the cuffs in the same fabric and then I've done the V neckline in a bamboo again. This one is so snuggly and warm. You can see like it's got it's lovely and fluffy. Now one thing I will mention is this one does stretch a lot so again take note of your differential feed. Do a test beforehand so that it's a simple thing of just clicking your notch up like the number upwards so that you don't have an overly wavy garment and last in the hip length we have this awesome french terry see the split gorgeously roomy you can pop a t-shirt underneath and then we have the fabulous v-neck and it's just gorgeously relaxed and easy um as i said it is a french terry from lush so it's so soft and then last but not least, we have the fabulous long length. Now, of course, if you want it longer, just add to the bottom. You don't need to make any other changes. This fabric is a sweater knit from Lush. It does grow. You will have to stabilize the neckline because it does tend to sit out. You can see here, it's sitting quite wide out on my shoulder and the whole garment feels a lot bigger when worn. So just keep that in mind so that you know what you're getting. But I absolutely love it. Like it's just snuggly and warm. I have worn this one a few times. Now let me show you how fabulously the Kapakati fits over the top. If you need to be a little bit warmer. How awesome is that? 
I always forget I don't have pockets in this one. Isn't that fabulous? And the sleeve, they fit perfectly one over the other so that you are extra, extra warm. So again, this is the funnel neckline. And if, remember, if you want it to sit like close up around your neck, then you will need to use a bulkier fabric like a cotton French terry. Not a poly French terry, but a traditional cotton or cotton lycra French terry. And then the fabulous step hem or split hem. And just gorgeously lovely and roomy and easy. Now, last but not least, I thought I would have fun with a little bit of sparkle. Can you see that? I'm not sure if that translates, but it is really, really sparkly in the long length. And I've just added t-shirt details to kind of make it a little bit more relaxed. So the ribbing neckline and on the sleeve, and I reduced the width of this sleeve a little bit more because this ribbing stretched quite a lot. Fabulous split hem in the same fabric. And how cute does it look over a pair of shorts? You can do the tuck if you wanted to, to kind of just give yourself that fabulous blousy look. Or you can just layer over your favourite jeans. This fabric is from Jono's on the Sunshine Coast. It's like a sparkle sweater knit. Um, it was actually pretty easy to sew. And the ribbing, I don't remember, it was in my stash. So, what did you think? Have you chosen a favourite? Now don't forget, the pattern is actually ready right now. So you can go and download and start sewing immediately. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the group.